Lower hemoglobin can impair aerobic performance. Example one, decreasing hemoglobin from a normal of 16 to 15 grams per deciliter, the oxygen content decreases from 21.09 to 19.79 mLs. This is a 6.2% decrease. And that's how you get it in oxygen content. So just reducing your hemoglobin one gram per deciliter of blood can bring about a 6.2 decrease in oxygen content. What does that do to an endurance runner? Next. Example number two. Decreasing hemoglobin from 14 to 13 grams per deciliter. The oxygen content decreases from 18 to 17.9. This is a 7% increase, a decrease. And the decrease in hemoglobin from 14 to 13 is 3%. Now what does this mean? If VO2 max decreases from 68 to 66 milliliters per kilogram per minute, it can slow marathon pace from a 226 to a 230.36. Four minutes in a two hour, two and a half hour energy expenditure. So it's significant, people. By the way, some people live, the shortage of hemoglobin doesn't let them live very much at any level. They're just existing. So on the epitaph of the tombstones of most Americans should be died, age 30. Buried, age 60. <laughs> There's 30 years that they're actually not living. They're not productive. And you see it in your societies. People don't do a darn thing with their lives other than be negative about this, about that. The possible mechanisms of iron deficiency depletion in endurance runners. Dietary intake. More so in women than men. Decreased GI iron absorption. This is of greatest importance. Whatever iron we have has to be absorbed in the upper tract of the small intestine. Increased sweat loss. The more you work out, the more you sweat, the more iron you lose through that perspiration. Loss of myoglobin iron, a condition called rhabdomyolysis. Increased gastrointestinal loss such as ulcers and hypoxia. Hypoxia is a shortage of oxygen, people. As you work out, you develop hypoxic conditions. And the more hypoxia, the more hemoglobin is lost. Consequently, the more iron is lost. So if you're active at all, whatever the level of activity, you're going to suffer from reduced iron stores. So I think everybody has low ferritin levels at one level or another. If your ferritin levels are somewhat normal, it's because you're not engaged in any aerobic activities. 